Last night on MSNBC, Rachel Maddow covered the Veterans March that took place over the weekend. And in stereotypical mainstream fashion, she deliberately distorted and falsified the facts surrounding the protest. First, she made it look like the Veterans March was organized by the Tea Party, led by Ted Cruz and Sarah Palin. And she said it was a small demonstration and once again pulled out the race card, insinuating that the veterans rally was somehow racially motivated. Vaguely threatening but incoherent is a patented thing with these folks. It has never, ever held them back. Like, say, this guy who brought the Confederate flag to the rally to wave it in front of the White House. Yes, an African-American family lives in that house now. But hey, I think the idea here was more about waving a Confederate flag in front of a house where a black family lives than it was about anything specific related to the Marines. And of course, they kept showing footage of this one guy who was out there with his Confederate flag, but failed to show the incredible amount of veterans who showed up, including, yes, black veterans. And that's because most everyone is extremely outraged right now about the Obama administration putting up barricades and denying veterans access to our nation's memorials. Y'all need to perform the Constitution you took the oath to do. These veterans served our country. They put their life in line on the line for you, for our country. And you're going to block their access to the memorial? Surely you got more dignity and respect than that. You're going to spit on their graves as well when they die. But Rachel Maddow's lying to her audience got worse. She claimed that the veterans, for example, were throwing the barricades at the White House, which did not happen. They then picked up the barricades that were around the closed World War II memorial and dragged the barricades over to the White House and hurled the barricades at the White House. But the big lie was when she told her audience that the police were not getting paid. Then the protesters went home. So the police, who through no fault of their own are working without being paid, the police had to pick up those barriers drag them back to where they came from and keep working their shifts without being paid because of the shutdown that these folks made happen. Wait a minute. Let's stop right there. Notice they keep showing a video loop of a veteran who is pushing one of the riot police backwards. What MSNBC failed to show their audience was the fact that it was the riot police who lashed out at veterans first. You can clearly see this cop pushing the veteran before the veteran pushes back. MSNBC deliberately edited that part out of the video. And as far as the cops not being paid during the shutdown, it's on record that all patrol and riot police are seen as essential. They're all on duty and they're all getting paid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little backup. So the police that are getting yelled at there are working without pay while the shutdown goes on. And working without pay includes now getting screamed at for being at work. Is there any threat? Is there any law being broken? And there were a lot of World War II veterans that showed up for the march over the weekend. And no World War II veteran should be denied access to the Iwo Jima Memorial or the World War II Memorial or to any other memorial for that matter. And the fact that they were denied access should be a wake-up call to us all. The enemy is no longer foreign. It is domestic. So remember, you can't trust MSNBC. You can't trust Rachel Maddow. And don't fall for the race card. Those memorials belong to us, each and every one of us. And as long as they're out there putting up barricades, it's up to all of us to get out there, support our veterans, tear those barricades down, and send a clear message to Obama that we're not about to back down. I'm Darren McBreen for Infowars.com. 